In December 2010, Emily Madonsela was one of thousands of residents from an informal settlement in Papsfontein, Eguruleni, who were relocated to this area and promised better housing. Ten years later, Emily and many others like her still live in these dire conditions. Hey, Ceci Terescat, we were at 2011, we were to get a piece. So, literally, in this night, so all I want is passing in Kuni, and so now you say, so all the good to Munta and by a good of Nana Naso. How did they get here? In 2010, the Ego municipality said the Papsfontein informal settlement was declared a local state of disaster and not safe for human settlement due to the Dolomite instability in the area. After much fighting between the municipality and the residents, the community was eventually relocated to this area. Following the relocation, the Constitutional Court ruled that forcefully removing the residents from their homes was unlawful and made the following order. To ensure the purchase of land identified for relocation, to provide adequate housing to the community, and to ensure that the land used is suitable for occupation. judgment former Deputy Chief Justice, who did come with Senate, who went up in Chicago 2016, who joined the Spec Constitution and he. But let the media of Manuplake and Limits, running water in a link, the strategy, the third road. So far, the Guruleni municipality has built service stands for some of the residents. Yeah, you know, if I can, I, I can say, well, they don't have a honor for judgment day. Because we get to a little bit, and they say, they know what's going on. But it's the world. Come on, I was born and gone, and I was born and gone, and I was born and gone, and I was born and gone. The MMC for Housing in Eguruleni, Lesi Bampia, admits that there have been challenges in delivering houses to everyone but he maintains that the city is doing everything it can to provide services to these residents while they wait for houses to be built. We've got specific uh, projects in that particular Mayfield precinct where the product deliverables are quite different because we are juggling between constraints of budget. There are instances where we are able to build uh, services including houses and there are instances where we are able to install services uh, whilst waiting for, for, for houses to, to be built. Most unfortunately, it becomes vulgarized and people call them 
ama toilets. It's not a toilets. It's actually sewer and water recirculation. It's infrastructure that has been installed. It's connections to the uh, to the ablution facility. It's a whole, in, uh, you know, stand. A person would have their own stand. Uh, it's a metered stand. It's a stand that we give, uh, you know, uh, uh, shower shower facilities as well as the solar panel givers. And whilst we, when we conclude with the service then the next program becomes an institute development where we actually put up that particular housing. What we can be able to say is that with the construction being at the last phase, we have been able to actually, uh, uh, you know, commence and conclude and uh, we are going to be able to hand out an extension for about 140 houses by June 2020. So by end of, I mean 2021, by end of this month, we should be able to hand out 140 in the extension 34, 186 houses uh, in extension 32, as well as uh, 236 houses uh, in extension 45. We have then t- taken note of concerns that have been raised and uh, uh, we will definitely follow them up. And I can tell you, my sister, that uh, 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 any insinuation that the government gives substandard service delivery, it is not true. While the municipality is working on completing its projects, vandals are destroying the infrastructure around unoccupied service stands as they remain unguarded. More than feet, I'm a toilet. I say go do frame, I say go imnyango, window frame was keeping. So most of the local fagum to water banana mali mali kete covid. I wanna give you a guy check. So I give you. I go go shop roughly five thousand or six thousand. So we never lava today and night to buy booze. Imnyango buy inch of vandalizing stuff. We are appealing for a bit of patience because you'd know that even uh, uh, government cons. Uh, government budgets have been constrained for the longest of time. I don't even want to start about the new era of COVID. It has made things worse. Remember when we came in, we promised uh, 100,000 houses and 59,000 service stands. Uh, so it was part of the plan. And, 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 and when it was uh, pronounced, mm-hmm. there was no person who objected to it. As a matter of fact, People came forward and appreciated the fact that at least you will give us assistance while we are waiting for the house. So, so my, my, my take on the matter is that a service stand is not a completed program. Uh, however, it is a habitable and livable program uh, whilst a person is waiting for their actual top structure. We've got to stand up against, against those particular isolated incidents as a, as a, as a country, as a city as a community because we cannot just sit by and allow criminality and vandalism to take place where we live without anyone lifting a finger or raising a voice about it. In course, even at Gosa Masnet, a cool near Kala Kala, a cool Igan. Oh, Nanda Bengala would be unmet and Gosia. Angi in Dow a peppy. Unalenda wing in Dow a peppy, the lines of Shalagashen, the peppy. No, I'm going to